And then you were a, a teacher, a music teacher. I was, yeah. So what do your students think? Do they reach out? Like, look at my, my teacher. My students are in their 50s now. <laughs> <laughs> no, they're not. But they may be in their 40s. Um, so I, when I first made it and I went back to St. Louis, we played um, in a... We played at the Fox Theater, which is a beautiful mm -hmm. old theater, and this group of people kept yelling, Allison, Allison, and I'm like, I don't play Allison, that's Elvis Costello. <laughs> and they were yelling Kellison, which is the name of my grade school that I taught at. Whoa. And so that was kind of fun. And then later on, I um, was in LA and did Big Brother, mm -hmm. and some young man came up to me, he was in his 30s, and he said, you taught me in second grade. So I run into people every now and again that I taught, and. But yeah, I was an elementary school teacher in the St. Louis public school system. That is amazing. I'm a cat wow. with nine lives. A cat with, that's a good way to say it. A cat, I'm like a music teacher and then, so what was the I waited tables, I, you know, went on the road with people. So. What was the transition from teaching into your career of music? Jingles. Jingles. Yes, um, I was singing in St. Louis while I was teaching and a producer walked in and asked me if I would come into his studio and sing. Uh -huh. He needed a female voice. And I wound up singing, it's a good time for the great taste of McDonald's. <laughs> and, um, and it went from uh, local to regional through Chicago and then it went network. And I made $45,000, which was way more than I made in two years of teaching. Mm. What does that tell you? Um, and I decided after doing a few jingles, I'd moved to L.A. with a tape, and I took it to every studio in L.A. I got my first gig singing for Johnny Mathis and my second one for the great Nancy Wilson. What? Yes. So when you like, for me. All genres oh, yeah. and all types yeah. of artists. Yeah. And then I overheard some singers talking about the Michael Jackson tour, so I crashed it. You crashed it? What, is, crashed what does it. that mean, you crashed it? I went and said, I know y'all don't y'all don't know me and I know you're supposed to be recommended by, you know, Quincy Jones or Bruce Swedeen, but I can sing and I'm really nice and I'd like to audition. And you got the job? I got called back and I got to sing with three other incredible singers and then the next week we were rehearsing and I was getting a passport. Look at that. See, that means never, ever, ever give up. I love your song, Soak Up the Sun, and I will be in the car listening. And it's like, oh my God. As a singer, you know, that's how I learn harmonies. Like, listening to records, and I know you can relate, Charles. That's me and I'm too. Like, and your harmonies on your songs are so good, right? Oh gosh, so you. I will be in the car, y'all, like, trying to harmonize to your songs. I got you sitting right here. Can you sing just a little bit of can it? Can you sing it with me? I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna try it. But to have you You're sit here me. right now, oh my God, you okay. know I gotta try. I I'm get to do nervous. this with you. <laughs> I'm gonna be nervous. Ah, I get to live the dream. Okay, okay. Come on. Like I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try to make you proud, Cheryl. Oh my gosh, what if I mess it up? Mess up my own song. My friend, the communist, holds me. this video, smash that like button and subscribe to the Jennifer Hudson Show YouTube channel. Check your local listings or visit JenniferHudsonShow.com to see when you can watch full episodes in your area. And don't forget to sign up for the newsletter.